while she's charged with premeditated murder, accused of stuffing her newborn son in a desk drawer. Today, key witnesses in the case were on the stand. Seven Action News reporter Simon Shaquette was in the courtroom. He joins us live in Redford Township with the new developments. Simon? Yeah, very intense day. Defense attorneys could not convince a judge to toss out the charge of premeditated murder. Inside a Redford District courtroom, 24 year old Kimberly Pappas shows little emotion. A judge just ruling charges of first degree murder, premeditated murder, and first degree child abuse will all stand in connection with the death of her newborn baby. Questioning her again about, you know, what's going on. And at that time, she just kind of looked over and said, well, Maybe I did have a baby. Strong testimony in today's preliminary exam coming from a paramedic supervisor who found a baby boy unresponsive after being placed in a plastic bag. Prosecutors say Pappas gave birth March 31st in a bathroom stall where she worked at Siva Logistics in Redford. Also, the medical examiner verifying a full-term infant was alive for at least seven minutes after birth and died from asphyxiation. The baby had bruises on its head and lungs, and lungs were filled with fluid. Detective Kevin Crittenden also taking the stand. She stated that she had been at work, that she had thought that she was constipated, that she had gone into the bathroom and realized that she was giving birth, and that she had given birth in the bathroom, uh, that the baby did not move, and that she had put the baby in a plastic bag. The cause of death was officially ruled homicide. Pappas stating earlier she knew since December that she was pregnant. Outside, moments after court, defense attorney Raymond Kassar. This isn't, in our opinion, a matter of first degree murder. Um, the baby was born in a bathroom. It happened fast, and if you were paying attention, you know, we're figuring it happened in a matter of 45 minutes to 50 minutes that baby was born. Now, Pappas will remain in jail, and she will appear in Wayne County Circuit Court in about a week. Live in Redford, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Simon. And